Welcome to Rigging Calc. We're excited to share some new features for rigging to a mount, drop-in gimple, or gimple. Before we get going, let's review a few things. First, anytime you are rigging to something that is not directly to a tower, leg, panel point, or the primary pole shaft of a monopole, extreme caution shall be used. Rigging to a mount, gym pole, or drop-in gym pole requires that these, appurtenances, that these appurtenances and any appurtenances the load passes through be evaluated for the forces imposed on them and on the tower structure. This may be a review of an engineered load chart or charts by a qualified person, minimum class 3, and or a site-specific analysis by a qualified engineer, class 4. Most of the time, the lift will be a class 4 and require a qualified engineer to evaluate the structural capacity. Also, the tower owner may require that the lift be considered a class 4. Second, rigging calc aids in the calculation of forces at the attachment point to the mount, drop-in gym pull, or gym pull only. Rigging calc does not assess the structural capacity of the mount, drop-in gym pull, or gym pole and the resulting forces back to the tower. The features have been added simply to assist in the preparation of a well-developed rigging plan and the communication of that plan to interested parties. Rigging calc uses the generic term top sheave to represent the highest sheave in the rigging system. If directly attached to the tower, it is the top block. It could also be the rooster head at the end of a gym pole, or the block attached to a mount, or the block attached to a drop-in gym pole. Also note that rigging to a gym pole, drop-in gym pole, or mount is not available for all rigging configurations. Currently, you can rig to a mount or drop-in gym pole for type A, straight tag, and type C, trolley, one-part rigging configurations, and you can rig to a gym pole for type B, top and heel block, one part configurations. We anticipate adding additional configurations in the future. When rigging to a mount, gym pull or drop in gym pull, the top block at slash attachment point is not configurable. The equipment list assumes that the top sheave is connected with a single sling to the mount, integrated to the gym pull in the form of a rooster head, or shackled directly to a drop-in gym pole. When using these rigging configurations, there are likely multiple people involved, competent rigger, qualified person, and qualified engineer, and multiple steps or lifting systems involved, lifting the gym pole into place, using the gym pole for a lift, jumping the gym pole, etc. It is essential that the qualified person clearly communicate the scope of work and construction sequencing to all parties. Lastly, lifting devices such as gym poles and drop-in gym poles are required by the standards to have load charts and to be inspected annually. These should be included as attachments to the rigging plan. Additionally, if you are rigging to a mount or rigging forces are passing through the mount, mount details and mount analysis should be attached. Let's check it out. I'm going to open an existing project and lift system so you don't have to watch me type. The ability to use rigging calc to rig to a mount, drop in gym pull or gym pull is found by first selecting the typical rigging configuration, just like you always do, I'm going to open an existing rigging configuration, a type C lift, to demonstrate rigging to a mount or a drop in gym pull. We see a familiar image of a trolley block attached directly to the tower panel point. As mentioned earlier, the top block has largely been rebranded top sheave. To accommodate when the sheave is located on a mount or a gym pole. 
you will see a drop down to change the top sheave location. As you can see, the diagram changes to reflect the mount or drop in gym pull. When rigging to a mount or drop in gym pull, a standard warning is generated. Also note that the sling configuration for the forces at the attachment point to the top sheave is no longer configurable. Additionally, the equipment list automatically changes accordingly for the equipment that's required. Now let's check out a gym pole rigged in the type B top and heel block configuration. Again, this is for a single part configuration only. You'll see the same familiar picture of a top block directly rigged to a tower and the option to change the top sheave location. When changed to a gym pole, the gym pole appears. After hitting calculate, you'll see a number of warnings that are appropriate for using a gym pole, as well as an extra one that focuses on the bridle and basket forces back to the tower. Again, the rigging point at the top is not configurable as far as the slings, but at the base where you may have a heel block, it is configurable. And the equipment for the capacity checks changes automatically to reflect a gym pull system. As always, please provide any feedback to info at riggingcalc.com or 877-RIG-CALC. And thank you for being a Rigging Calc customer.